Hi, this is Greg with Engaging Teacher. I'm starting a new TPT store and guiding me through the process will be Rebecca. She started her TPT store over five years ago and has agreed to answer my questions and share her experiences running an online business. Okay, so I have my first product done. I have a description written and this is a Google Slides product so I would like you to help me post those in my store and from my understanding you don't have Google products at this time correct no um, it really wasn't that big of a thing when I started and I haven't gone through and updated my products so what I propose is that we learn together because I don't know okay great <laughs> all right so when you are going to upload a product you'll come over here and the way that I know to get to it and there might be other ways you go to my product listings all and right. this has got because you have none mm hmm so we need to add a new product now we have you can do a digital download if you have a video this is going to be from your Google Drive. That's the online resource. And then if you have a bundle. Now I'm not sure if you have a Google bundle if you do that here or if you do it here. We'll have to find out. And my understanding is that TPT has recently changed the way they do or access to Google Slides, correct? From what I understand. So when you used to have it before, what you would do is you would have a PDF in that PDF would be a link. The link would take the buyer to the a copy of your product or to a place where they made a copy and then the buyer made a copy. Now TPT acts as the intermediary. They directly access your Google Drive um, and then they put it on the other person's Google Drive. So you don't have to have the other person making a copy. And that's the way we're going to try to set it up today, right? Yes. Okay. Um, some people are, they don't like it because it has TPT access through Google Drive. That's a personal preference. Um, if you read their, their privacy policy, it is simply just to access that particular file. But again, everybody makes their own decision. Okay. Okay. So we are going to be accessing it from your Google Drive. And let's click it, see what happens. Okay, so this is pretty standard compared to what everything else looks like. I mean, it does say here, list it from your Google Drive, but you will always have to insert these things for any product you do. The first thing is, is you need a title. What are you gonna call your product? Um, a big thing that a lot of buyers do when they're entering this title is they try to be cute or super specific to their brand. You have to think of, what would a teacher be searching for? Somebody that doesn't know you. Mm -hmm. They just want, what do they want? They want a Google presentation for whatever it is. Okay. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, I see a lot of teachers really try to go through and be super cute about it. It's got to be a searchable term. So it makes them harder to find sometimes, mm -hmm. possibly. Yeah, okay. it could. Um, another thing that I just saw on Instagram the other day, and I thought this was really interesting, was not to use punctuation in your titles because people won't be putting punctuation in when they're searching. Oh, okay. And I thought that made sense. So, um, and then you'll always need to have a description. So you'll put what it's called. You'll have your description in your description. Again, you want it to be something that has keywords. And what a keyword is, is something that will help the buyer find your product because there's this whole underbelly of SEO or search engine optimization and all of your titles, all of your descriptions, everything is helps your product be found. All right. So that's stuff you need to think about in advance, um, making sure you you have keywords in your title and description. That's a whole, um, idea onto itself, right? So we've kind of just prepped them in advance for what I want for my product. Exactly. Okay. Um, that's that's an entire industry yeah, now. <laughs> right, right. So, I mean, that that's several, several lessons. 
Okay. Okay. Um, then in here for files, let's see, supported file types, it tells you you can do a doc, you can do a form, a sheet, a slide, drive folders, and a PDF. And one thing I noticed, which we just talked about before we started this, uh, at TPT has a whole section under TPT University of how to um, not go against the uh, intellectual property that Google has set up. So they make you put, I see the little TM there next to Google Forms, Google Docs, and you have to put that, you have to think about that in the title, right? Yeah, you can't say like Google Slides, um, ABCs or Google Slides site words. No, Google Slides is not making them. You would say site words for Google Slides or site words compatible with Google Slides. And then put the little superscript TM in there mm -hmm. so you're protected. Yeah. Okay. And then here it tells you your preview. Um, it gives you the preview limit. You can have a PDF. I don't know what this BMP file is. A GIF or GIF, depending on what you say. JPEGs, PNGs, so any type of picture. This does not allow video previews, which other parts of TPT do, so keep that in mind. It's just got to be a stagnant picture. Okay. And then thumbnails is just that little picture that people can see just to give them a glimpse of your product. And those are very small, so one, you know, a picture is two megabytes. Okay. Let's see. For products listed from your Google Drive, PDF files can be included only as a Google Drive folder. Okay, so it's got to be inside the folder. You can't just do a PDF file. Gotcha. All right. We're just doing one product right now, though. All right. So you would select your product here. Once you click that, you will upload your product, and this you'll do from Google Drive preview so this is what the buyer can see and it is optional i would highly recommend that you do this for every product and be um as inclusive as you can be like if you can include a picture or a page for everything that you've done that's better more is better why does that help because people won't be upset that they don't know what it is that they're getting um there if you only have three pictures or four pictures for somebody to see they don't fully understand what it is that they're okay. getting. Um, if you have a, a preview that includes everything, well, how can they say they didn't know? Okay. And how do you protect that? I mean... So what I do is I do it in Adobe Acrobat. I have the subscription and that does cost money. You can do a couple of different things. In your um, PowerPoint presentation, or I guess Google Slides, you can put the word preview over the top and then save that as a picture and put all those pictures together in one big file. Um, so you've got a couple of choices. If you're not doing a Google product, if you're doing a, a regular product in your video, you can make a video of it. But I would definitely recommend taking the time to make sure your previews show as much as you can possibly get. Okay, so that will help your review ratings. It will help make sure you don't get returns as often and, and satisfy your customer exactly okay yeah you don't want to be spending your time you know dealing with customer service you want to be spending your time making products gotcha so all right and then underneath you have your main cover so this is the big picture that they will see and then here are your optional thumbnails so this you can see the main cover is not optional the thumbnails are now we'll see what it does for Google products. I know for the products that I've done, TPT will take a snippet of the product and put it in there for you. Okay. Sometimes it's not the prettiest picture. So you might want to think ahead as to what thumbnails you want. Mm. You have to save those all as pictures and then you can upload them. But okay. we're gonna see what it does for Google. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, in here, your free resource, it gives you an indicator that it should be 10 pages or fewer. If it's free, of course, you would just check that. If you have a price, you would put it in here. You can also adjust the multiple licenses, which means if um, a teacher buys it and then they want other teachers to use it as well, instead of repurchasing that product for every teacher at full price, mm -hmm. they get a little bit of a discount. Oh, okay. Which, I mean, it keeps them honest so they don't just give it away, but it also helps make you you know, some money on those extra things. Now they recommend setting it at 90%. 
you have the option of changing it. I'm not sure how much leeway you have as, as a seller. Do you change yours or just leave it as TPT recommends? I think I leave it as TPT recommends. Okay. Okay. And then the bundle. So if you have a bundle, then you can um, change the price here, but that is optional. I'm not 100% sure how that's different. We'll have to play with that later on. Okay. Okay. The tax code. You have to have this in here. You can go to their full code descriptions and read about them if you want. But if you look in the drop down, do you have an audio file? Is it a book? Is it an image? Are you selling clip art or photos? Mm -hmm. Are you selling a video? What are you selling? You're selling a Google slide. So that is an other digital product. It's nothing physical. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Now, the grade level, they say that you can do up to four grade levels. I highly recommend you don't go crazy with this. Um, it makes teachers angry <laughs> when you say that it's for all of these grade levels, and they're like, eh, not really. Okay. I would choose one or two. I mean, unless it really is, you know, like a coloring book or something that that is. Right. And then that you would come over to not grade specific. I see. Okay. So... You're not really increasing your audience by selecting too many, even though, yes, can they use a third grade product with second grade and with fourth grade? Yes, but really think about, is that the primary focus of your product? So you want the people that it's most going to give the most benefit to, you want them to look for it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And you don't, I mean, the whole thing is, is if you make somebody angry, it's just, it's going to ruin your day. It's going to ruin their day. Gotcha. It's a hassle. So you want to go to the target, your correct customer so that you get them and they're happy and they come back. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So to, for your subject area, you have to select a grade. So let's just pick one for right now. So you can see how it went from grade out to now I can type in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in your subject area, you're going to have to scroll through. And depending on what type of product you have, you're going to choose the best thing. Here it has up to three subject areas. So you know best what your product does. And you can come in here and you're going to have to spend some time looking and seeing what makes sense. Okay. Okay. And then you could choose up to three, but there's, there's a lot. They also have a specialty section. And like I can keep going. Wow. Yeah. So... All kinds of choices. There's one for all subject areas as well. Um, the resource type, again, take some time and look through these. There's not really anywhere that describes what they are. So you're going to have to think about what would a teacher think when they see um, each of these, these words. So are these, this kind of adds a keyword search to your product? Yes. So you'll see when we actually post your product, Underneath it will have, in the top description, will have the resource type. And you again, you can choose up to three. Okay, so when somebody's searching for something, if you, if you match these with what they're searching for and it is what your product is, it's going to list you. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. So again, I'll just kind of scroll through. You're going to have to look in here. Some of these things, I don't know what they are. Like, I don't know what this is, a DBQ. Um, and really think about what makes the most sense for you. Mm -hmm. Now you have this, you have a Google, so I would definitely include that. Okay. And then the other two, you're just going to have to think what makes the most sense. Okay. Um, here's something I want to warn you about this interactive whiteboard. So this is for like a smart board or, um, I can't think of any other brand names right now, but any of the interactive whiteboards. Technically, a PowerPoint presentation can be used on them, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not designed for that okay. because it's a different software that allows different capabilities. So if you put that it's an interactive whiteboard product, really think about does it fit that description? Because your customer is going to think it can do more than it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. And then you have the capability in your store to create custom categories once you have some different products in there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to differentiate by grade level or by subject area in your store, you can. And you can see this is an optional thing. So these are the 
categories that are listed on the left side of the store mm-hmm. and you can name them anything you want. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And so again, when you do that, think about what would your customer be looking for and how would they be thinking about it? Okay. Okay. Now, education standards. This has got um, the main four that most people use. Your common core state standards. And again, you can see this is optional. Mm -hmm. But if you know the standards that your product addresses, I would highly recommend taking the time to do this. Okay. Because some teachers do search by standards. Okay. And they might come across your product in that kind of search. Okay. So if you look in here, the common core state standards... They have them broken down already for you. So this is, yeah, nice and easy. You have your grade level drop down, and then you have your standards here. Okay. okay? And you have it, this is English and then math. Okay. So again, whatever you're doing, you can come in here and all it, all you have to do is just click it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's, it's easy. So when you are getting ready to upload your product, make sure that you have a list of the standards that it, um, teaches and then check it off. Okay. Okay. It's worth spending the extra few moments. Now these are for science and Texas and Virginia, um, but these are all that they've got listed right now. All right. In details, you can have how long is this? Is it just a quick lesson? Is it something you can use for the life? Does it take a year? Um, But you don't have to choose this. It's optional. Mm Mm-hmm. The number of pages, again, you can type that in, it's optional. This, if you don't have a full preview, you might want to include the number of pages. Okay. Like if your preview doesn't include every single thing, Mm -hmm. just to give the buyers an idea of how much they're getting for their money. Gotcha. Okay. And then an answer key, is it included or not? Um, Does it have a rubric or is that not applicable? Okay. Okay. Again, you don't have to do it. And then down here talking about copyright, um, this is you saying, hey, I totally created this product from scratch um, and I want you to read through it, read through the terms of service, or have you used something and you have permission or it doesn't infringe on their rights. So you have to choose which one is appropriate for your product. And then here, the last thing you'll do is make your product active And it says, once your product is active, it's live on the site and searchable. So make sure you've got everything in here. (laughs) Don't half upload something. Gotcha. Um, I've never done it where I didn't do this. I wonder if you could. Like if you want to half upload it and put it in and not make it active. Hmm. A product that's inactive is hidden from public view. So you could do that, I guess, if you had part of it ready. Okay. So that's up to you, I guess. Okay. And then the final thing you do is hit create product. And it does take a few minutes to go through and process. So give it some time. All right. All right. 